we're back in the studio again, and we're with Kathleen Taylor, the social worker manager. And um, I don't know what she's going to talk about, but <laughs> hello, Kathleen. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, yeah. Another year, huh? I know. It's getting pretty slim now as I'm getting closer, <laughs> you know. Well, every, every year is a new year, a good year, right? Right. Yeah. I always feel that if I made, well, I made it this year, maybe I'll make it another year. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So um, what I'm here to talk about a little bit is just um, what's going on in social work. And the big thing that we wanted to um, let the residents know about is our brain train that we have that's going to be starting on um, January 28th. Do you know about the brain train? I've, been, I've got it hanging up on my file cabinet. You know. Are you going to do it? Well, I will. It, it, is, is that six weeks or something? It's every Thursday That's for six weeks, starting on the 28th of January. Um, you need to sign up with Ann Talley, the social worker, um, at extension, if people are writing things down, at extension 604-4307. Um, but anyhow, so yeah, it, the capacity is 40 people, so it's a, it, there, there's plenty of room. Um, but it's every Thursday for six weeks. You go, and it's, a con it's great because it's a combination of five stations, Two of them are kind of brain fitness kind of exercises that people are going to be doing, and two are um, movement types of activities. And then the fifth station, which is the last station, combines a memory exercise with a movement exercise to really get you twisted up, but really sort of stimulate the brain. Um, and people love it. It's really, really good fun. Um. I'm no good at these puzzles. Yeah, they're, they're not puzzles. Well, it, it, it just, <laughs> I feel so stupid with them yeah. that I can't figure them out. Uh, well, some of it is just sort of, there's always tricks to them. So some of them are just doing them over and over again. And then that gets your brain thinking in a different way that you can solve those po problems or puzzles. So I think, that, I think that's the whole point, is to just get your brain working in a new way and your body working in a new way. So anyhow, I hope you go. So if, if you haven't yeah, signed up, Yeah, as, sign as up. I said, I've got it up on the, and see what's going on when it comes. Yeah, well, you, but you do have to think ahead, so sign up. Yeah, well, I have doctor's appointments to make that I've been. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, but this is, this is good. And like I said, people seem to come and really enjoy themselves too, so. Yeah, you, you had a program something like that down at the We Huntington. did, yeah, yeah. we had. Had a, had a blast on going, you know, but you did it in a group, and right. it got to be comical. I mean, you just laughed all the way yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, actually, you know, you people, we come on periodically and talk about memory fitness and memory health, and the socialization part, you know, just people being together and, having a good time, that's like a crucial part of, of memory health as well. Yeah. So, you know, in amongst all the other kinds of things that we're doing, we're really just getting people together to, to have a good time, and you can't beat that. Right. Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, because it's not, a lot of people eat, take their uh, meals home, and um, that's one thing I just, I may do it once or twice a week, but... But you do the dining room. Oh, yeah. 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 Just to harass them. <laughs> well, and keep everybody on their toes, Mary. That's your, yeah. that's your thing. But, uh, but definitely, I know I've heard that, too, from people, is that it's the dining rooms are kind of intimidating. If you don't know somebody or you don't have a friend to go with, it feels kind of uncomfortable. So, yeah, you know, we do, we do encourage people to take that step into the unknown a little bit and just try yeah, it out. Yeah, when you get that, I, I, I had a problem when my husband died that I, I wouldn't go in by myself. Right. And it took me a while to, you know, but I it, I got in the habit of, you know, I got to know people mm -hmm. while well, I had been around him, within, with him here right. for 11 years. Right. But I'd look and see in the lobby who was around and I'd ask, it, you know, if I could join them while we were in the lobby. 
That's a great idea. You know, yeah. and, um, and then you get to know people. And it, it's, yeah, it's like it over. And now I've got about eight people mm -hmm. that I know I'm going to eat with, you know, not all at once, but, you know. Yeah. Because I don't like to eat with the same people all the time because wow. then, then you get into. Then it's like a click, right? Yeah. 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 Good. That's really, really good. But you did have to step outside your comfort zone a little oh, yeah. bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I think some people, that just seems too scary. So, uh, you know, I think what, if you can, you know, put yourself out there a little bit, it's a risk, you know. But I think what, what people do find is, like you, that there are people that are really open to, to developing friendships out there and maybe feeling the same way as you, right? Right. That they don't know anybody either, so you guys kind of bond together. So that's great. That's really good to hear. Yeah, and I get so upset when they seat someone by themselves at a table. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, I, I, if you know, I will go over yeah, after I eat and say, tell the people at the table, I'm going over and talk to that woman that's by herself, because I think that's the worst thing to. And I told the others, don't put me at a table by myself. I said, I'll go home before I go and sit by myself. Yeah, that's so nice. Yeah, the social aspects of, of Greenspring are just so significant. So, um, in fact, we've done one of our That's Life shows um, that we do, where we do kind of the social work role play with our, our actors. Um, we've sort of touched on that with one of our characters, too, that um, actually it's sort of a story similar to yours, where they had, their husband had died and they were sort of having to venture out into the community on their own for the first time. Yeah, that's and foreign how scary, territory. Yeah. yeah, how scary that was for them and, um, you know, just sort of learning how to be in a different way. Yeah. So, so you're a living, living actor of that story. <laughs> I get, well, I've always performed. <laughs> <laughs> From the time I was three years old, they told me, kept yeah. telling me. Yeah. That, and, Good for you. You're Queen Bee. There you I, go. I was. Maybe we'll get you for one of our shows, huh? Uh, I was in one. Oh, which shows are you talking <laughs> my, about? That, my, that's life, my television show. You've never seen it, have you? No. We'll have to get you to watch it. <laughs> well, I need TVs that work. <laughs> well, we'll figure that out next. But anyhow, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's going on with social work right now. We're just sort of gearing up for the new year, so... The memory fitness classes will be coming in a, in the spring, so that's something else that we're that people should look for in terms of um, advertising for that and people being able to sign up for that. Have you done the memory fitness yet? The memory fitness classes? No. I, I'm still organizing my husband's estate. Yeah. So you're really still one step at a time, huh? Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's more like, oh, I'm a great procrastinator, yeah. 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 But you always stay busy. Well, I socialize a lot. <laughs> that's good, that's good. So you have any questions for me about what social work is doing or whatever comes to the top of your head? I'm free game right now. Yeah, what, how are you coming along with the talent show? That's not me. <laughs> You don't know how that's coming along? No, I don't. I know one of our social workers is, is in it. Sue Frankie is going to be playing music with um, members from her family. You know, they're very talented yeah. musicians. They usually do something. So that'll be, that'll be exciting. Yeah, see, they're professionals. They I are. Won't that's be, not fair, I won't is go it? up here against professionals. But I did hear that there's about 12 participants right now, I think. So they're, they, I think they're, they're feeling like they're going to have a good show. Yeah. Because we, we were the head uh, in our church. She had a, t uh, a show, you know, talent show every year. Mm -hmm. And we, they put us at the end because uh, there was three of us that did skits. And we did them in fours. We did, you know, like our youth. And then uh, when we were graduated from high school. And it was all, you know, it was complicated. This the woman was phenomenal about, you know, I did the music and you know stuff like that, but uh, that yeah. sounds like it was fun. Oh, w for six weeks we did nothing mm -hmm. but laugh. 
Yeah, no. yeah. Because we were ridiculous. We made skirts out of, uh, you know, Hawaiian skirts out of paper bags, if you think that's fun. Yeah. That, it's, it's, that sounds good. It sounds good. Well, you're, you have to use your talents like that over here, too, at Green Spring. Um, she offered to come. What the one of the one of the three of us, as she still mm -hmm. died, mm -hmm. but she said, oh, she, if you want to, I'll come over." And she's out, you know, in Annandale. And uh, she said, "I'll come over." And she said, "Can you get someone else, you know, to mm -hmm. do be the, in the trio?" Yeah. Well, we'll have to see about that, right? Or you can do it by yourself. So anyhow, I can't think. Are we are we running out of time, or do we, we have time? We got a minute. Okay. I think that um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to. I, I do want to um, continue to talk to people. We have a caregiver support group that, um, that Sue Frankie does, that people should look for the advertisement for that. That's a, that's a really group of, a good group of people that are in a care partnership with somebody that, um, that may have some memory loss that we really um, want to give support to. Um, to people that are in that situation. Uh, it's sort of peer group support to a large extent, people that are going through the same experience that yeah. can come together and kind of share, <coughs> share their experiences. And, um, and it really helps a lot of times to hear other people's stories too and know that, um, that you're not alone. And that the people you're talking to can understand what you're doing. Absolutely, through. absolutely. So um, that's, that's something that, uh, I you know keep on saying to people it's I think people sometimes are reluctant again that feels like a risk um, to take to, to come to that group but I think it ends up being valuable so well I think uh, he's hit, heading for the end it, we're at the end now <laughs> so uh, I hope we got everything in that you I want to talk so. about yeah oh we, uh, I think we better quit now okay <laughs> announcements right yeah Okay. Uh, well, thank you again. You're welcome. It's always, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Uh, it's time to leave now, and I'll thank you very much. You're welcome. Um,